Good morning, people. Back in the lakes, a few days before Christmas. We wasn't actually planning to come out this week, but the weather today is meant to be fantastic. Mountain weather information is saying that there's going to be cloud inversions all day and eight degrees and sunny. Considering the weather a couple of weeks back when we were in the snow, got my Christmas hat on. Bit cold. <laughs> this is five weighing rights, six to eight hours. But yeah, it should be fun. And we decided to come early. Sun's just coming up now, it's about 7.30. But it is bitter at the moment. It's gonna warm up later on throughout the day. The ground's a tad icy this morning. The rivers are running so fast at the moment. Probably all the snow that's melted over the last few days. Crazy weather for December. Wow, look at that. You can just see the sun starting to rise over Blencata. A little bit of snow on it still. A couple of horses here. Unreal, man. Got a little steep ascent through a forest here. Nice straightforward path up. And then we're going to be going over there. The first one of the day is going to be Clough Head. 726 metres. Tell you what, I'm feeling a bit tired. Because we got up so early to drive down. We have to drive two hours to get here. Bit weird starting to walk in the dark, you feel a bit like you haven't woke up properly. Just having a little look at the route last night, and it seems like you do most of the elevation towards the start, it's just being straight up all the way for the last 30 minutes. I'm not gonna lie, it's took it out of me, man. Had a few beers last night, which probably wasn't a good idea. Well worth coming out today, man. Looks like it's gonna be great. I haven't seen it this clear for months, even in the summer. This has been an absolute grind, man. We're about 45 minutes in, and it's just been up all the way. Straight up, and just over. And this Santa hat, believe it or not, sweating. Really hot, mate. Better than my actual walking hat. <laughs> See the moon about to drop behind the mountains. Still got a bit of snow here and I've had to change over to the shorts. It's so warm. It's gonna be hot up there as I assume. I think it's eight degrees. I can see on me GPS that just over the hill. It's the summer. Just looking at the views here. Just behind the mountains, you can see a mountain miles away. And correct me if I'm wrong, I think that could be an island. I've just checked the GPS, but it could even be Scotland, I'm not too sure. But mate, I've never seen it this clear. Even in the summer months, you never see it this clear, man. It's always a bit of cloud, but you can see miles away. You can see it everywhere. <sighs> what a day, mate. And to think I nearly never come out as well. And there's the sun, it's popping over. That's one of our summits later on. Crazy man. Can't get over how good it looks. Spent more time looking at the views <laughs> than actually walking. Just see the summer can in the distance. The sun's blinding. First on of the day, Clough Head. 726 metres. Tell you what, this is one of my favourite mountains to date. Look at the views, man. You've got a 360, everything. See the whole of the lakes. Wow. Mate, unreal. What a day. Ridiculous, man. You can't wait round too long. You start getting cold otherwise. Doesn't help wearing shorts. Like, it's a bit chilly, the air. That sun, man, it's going to be so warm in a minute. Got to drop down a bit and then up. I think. Looking at the map, it's just there. When I say just there, quite <laughs> quite a bit of a walk away. You can actually see the path in the distance running up to the summer. It's nice to uh, have a straightforward path for once. The last few we've been on have been terrible. Just noticed this little fella on the GPS called Calf How Pike. Not actually a Wayne right, but 660 meters. So this is a bonus one, Calf How Pike. 660. The views up here are sound, man. Look at that. So that's where the first summit was over there, and it looks fairly close. Been walking for ages, probably about an hour. Not far off the summit here. Probably gonna have to take a break. Feeling like low in energy. A little mouth out, isn't it? Yeah. Second one of the day. Great Dodd, 857 meters. 
quite big this one. This one the back down he's done before. Considerably lower. I think we just need to fuel up man, we'll be good. I don't even know what to say about his views man. Best I've seen in a lot in years. Long time mate. I think this area is so good because it's a 360. Just gonna have a little bit of lunch now. Fuel up for the next one. See the clouds starting to come in through the valleys. There's loads of inversion over there. Just finished up our break, just checking on the time. Two hours and 45 minutes, 3.6 miles. With us getting here so early, we've got loads of daylight. Oh, someone's built a little shelter here, just away from the summit over there. Nice, still some snow on the mountains there though. Hellveln in the background, covered in it. It's like a nice easy path to this next one. You can just see the pile of rocks in the background over there. It's not actually that far from the last one. Watson's Dodd, 789 metres. That was a nice little breeze down that path there, look at that. Just straight down, mate, nice and easy. We got two left on the list, and one's fairly close. The last one's actually quite far away, but yeah, that was nice, that was an easy one. We think the last one is just down here somewhere. But yeah, we've got to go up there now. So the fourth one's called Stybarrow Dodd, slightly higher than this. Very good walk, this one of my favourites, this actually. Nice to get out of that sun for a minute. Blinding us. Just walking then, couldn't really see anything in front of you. Just looking at your feet. Stay Barrow Dodd. 843 metres. Wayne actually said there wasn't a cairn here when he wrote the books, but someone's put one here. He said it was just grass at the top, so you'd have to find the point, but this is where the GPS is saying. And then we're over them ways. Just gonna have a look over here before we crack on. Look at the views. That cloud inversion over there looks fantastic, man. You don't even just see it. Just in the valley. Looks unreal. Pity we haven't got on over here, to be honest. So we were saying earlier on, we might have a little look at the ski club. Because we've got to pass by it. But look at this. So we're going right down to the bottom. Oh. And then we're going right. So we'd have to ascend back up to go up the ski club. So I think we'll give that one a miss. I'll have a little look on Google instead. I've got a cap in my bag with a peak on to stop the sun blinding me. But... I'm committed to the Santa hat because it's Christmas. I can't take it off. So just check the GPS. We're going to descend all the way down here to road level. And the last one of the day is over here. So I think it's the very end of the hump. It's like a little old building here. Oh, that's a pen. Not really sure what that is. This is a fairly steep path coming down. I've seen a lot of people coming up here, so fairly popular. They're all going towards where we, we've come from. By the looks of it on the GPS, if you can see the cars on the corner here, that's where we're going to descend the last fell. Just getting back onto road level now. <laughs> My knees were so bad then from coming down that descent. And I was saying, oh, I don't fancy the last one. So as I see, that's what produced itself. Massive. It's another one. Seems to happen a lot here. There's trees that fell over everywhere. I don't know what's happened, maybe some bad weather at some point. Some old trees, them as well.
little tarn frozen over. Not got much sunlight up here. This is just a lot of grassy terrain, ups and downs to the last one. That's where we was this morning. That's where we ascended up over them mountains. We have seen about 30 people up here as well. Like so popular. Finally coming up to the summit, just up there, where the two people are. Hi Dick, 357 meters. Last way night of the day, that's five boxed. And just looking for the car, I can see it down there. In the background by the river. Five hours and 49 minutes, 9.8 mile. So that's not too bad. Look at the views up here, man. Sun's still flying high. Clear as day, man. Don't like that sun fool you don't mean. It's Baltic in the shade, there's still frost in the valleys and it is freezing. My hands are starting to go numb. Oh my god. Slippy. Death crash. Death crash. Oh slippy bridge this. It's so icy. That water looks cold. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Seen two bothers. Says where we started this morning. Over them. And back round there was the last one just before. It's been freezing, my hands are burning cold. We haven't felt sun for about half an hour. Back at the car people, just warming up again. The total time is six hours and thirty-two minutes, so well within the six and eight hours and eleven point two miles. Really enjoyed that one. Nice easy pat and definitely recommend if you're looking to do a Wainwright bag and route with five on. Great today with the weather as well, couldn't have asked for anything better. Got a good few compliments on me Santa that anyway. As always people I'll link the view range in the description. I hope you all have a good Christmas and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.